again and welcome back to another video. Um, last weekend I went to the Birmingham, Birmingham, Bir Birmingham, Birmingham Bacon. I went to the Birmingham Design Festival and it was also my birthday weekend which was pretty cool. So this is going to be a little bit of a art supply haul because I brought a lot of stuff and I got some things for my birthday. And also I kind of look at Birmingham Design Festival so if you like a bit of everything um, you're going to get a bit of everything. So the first thing that I got for my birthday was a new camera. This bad boy. And this is my first time filming with this camera, so I really hope it works okay. So let's start first with paper, because paper is amazing. So this is a mixture of different stuff that I got from different stores. So start off with Muji. So Muji is um, a store I've always wanted to buy from and I didn't even know they had one in the city until we arrived there and I saw it. So I brought a whole bunch of stuff, probably too much stuff. Um, this here is just a little play notebook and you can personalise it with your own stamps. So I just put Monkey on there because Monkey Mintaka was uh, going to be a little bit time consuming. And then I also brought this little notebook here which just has little dots in it. Let's try to get closer. Okay, I don't know how I don't know how to make I don't know how people get closer and it works. So we, 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 we won't worry about that. And then I moved on to Cass Arts, which is another store in England. Uh, so went to Cass Arts and I wasn't gonna buy anything, I was just gonna browse. But I kept seeing everything and I kept saying to myself, it's my birthday, I'm going to treat myself. So I got this random scrapbook in the kids section, which is just full of really coloured paper. And I thought it would be fun just to doodle on or use the paper for different stuff. So I thought that was kind of fun. The next thing I got was this Inspire Me Derwent Graphic book. And I really love the Derwent Graphic pens. So I saw this and I thought it'd be kind of cool to try them together. And what I really love about this book is it's got pages that have different patterns on. Like hexagons, dots, um, and they're spread out throughout the entire book with plain paper. So that one has squares on. So I guess it's meant to help you use your imagination or, I don't know, just make patterns or designs or something with it. I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to try this one out and also the the thing I'm not really sure about is it has these um, perforations here so you can cut them out I guess. Um, I, have a, I have a sketchbook like this right now that I'm using and all the pages at the end because you've been um, opening them so much and pressing on them they actually come away. So I hope it doesn't happen in this book because I really like sketchbooks because it keeps it in a book and it's not loose. So we'll see about that one. Then I got this handbook journal. I wanted to try one of these for ages, mainly because it's a square format and I thought it'd be really fun to do square pictures and also obviously you have the longer version if you need it. So this is, it says it's for drawing here and it says it can use light watercolour uh, washes but not heavy watercolour so it's mainly used for drawing, sketching and inks. So I'm going to try a bit of everything on it and see how it handles the pages. See how the pages handle the inks and the watercolours. And then I grabbed this um, these watercolour postcards, which at first I thought were an awesome idea because it's like a piece of watercolour paper, really thick card. On the back you have a place for your stamp, the address and a little message so you can send it to people in the mail. But then I thought, um, I don't know if I want to like watercolour something and send it without any protection through the Royal Mail service in England because uh, I've seen how some of these letters arrive and I don't want it to get ruined but I guess I'm just gonna go for it because like nothing is permanent right? You can't like hang on to everything forever. So I'll just make something and send it out into the world and see what happens. And then the last thing I got were these filled notes. and. Um, a lot of you probably wouldn't won't know what these are. I actually didn't know what they were until I was introduced to Aaron Draplin, who's a graphic designer. 
Um, he's a graphic designer that we saw in Birmingham. He's one of the main reasons we went. And he does these books called Field Notes. And this is a quite a plain one, but it has really cool information on the back, like interesting things you can do with it, like make a treasure map, or I guess put your gambling debts on there to work out, uh, make a family tree lineage. And then it has this ruler here, some little information at the start. So there's a plain one, um, a square one, and a lined one. And he makes them, he does four different designs every year. And some of the designs are awesome. But there were so many people at the talk that we went to that they just like decimated the merchandise table. So these were the last ones left at the end of the talk. So yeah, this is all the paper I've got. So I guess one of the coolest things we did in Birmingham was seeing Aaron Draplin. Um, he's a graphic designer from America, from Portland, and he's really well known and super prolific. He makes so much stuff. I have no idea how he finds the time. And his work is really bold and really colorful. Um, so if you like things like that, you should definitely look him up because you might really enjoy his work. So next up, uh, pens. So let's start with Muji again. Back to Muji. I got these awesome hexagon pens and they are tiny. I think they are 0 0.25. Let's just see if I can, where's the camera? There it is. Hello? I don't, okay. Well, I, I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. 0 0.25 hexagon. So I got a red one, a blue one and a black one just for regular drawing. And then I got these, which I've wanted to try for ages. Um, so yeah, these are some gel pens. I think they're just regular gel pens, but the design of them is really cool. The design of them is really cool because they're just in this really nice frosted plastic. So these ones are 0 0.5. I think you can get thinner ones, but I. I didn't want to buy them individually, I just brought a set. So I got all of those. Lastly, I just brought some regular um, liners. I don't really need these like because I already have like I have um, other liners, but we needed some pens to finish off our one of the um, workshops we went to. We had to draw something and we didn't have any pens to finish it off with. So we brought this to finish it off with. And I actually really love this pack because it comes with this really cool chisel nib how do you make it focus which would be really cool for doing um like really thick lines i haven't tested it out yet but it looks really fun and then just the regular old um numbers that you normally get in every other but the lady in the store this was cass Arts. she sold these to me and she was telling me how awesome they are i'm not sure if these ones were the ones that were archival, so I probably shouldn't say they are archival just in case they aren't, but they definitely are waterproof and they're really nice and black. I've drawn with a couple of them and they're really lovely. So if you're looking for some really cool liners, um, Stadler, Stad, Stadler, Stadler, they're really good. And then one of the other really cool things that we did is this workshop with a guy called Dave. Dave something. Um, he goes as Dave draws and he basically goes around and he does all these really crazy doodle maps of different places. So this is an example of one of the maps he's drawn. So the workshop that we did was like a two hour drawing class kind of and uh, showed us how he does his maps and comes up with his doodle ideas and then we gave it a go ourselves. So this is my map that I drew of Birmingham. Um, I've never been there before, it was my first time. So I have no idea like where anything is. And I started uh, with this park here and I tried to draw the roads. We had maps and stuff to go from, like Google Maps. Um, I ended up draw, draw, going chaotic. Like there's there's a road here that, that loops twice. So I ended up just using it as an experience to draw what we had done in Birmingham. It's like where we'd been what we'd seen, what we'd eaten, and it was really cool. 
So um, we saw the, the bull, which is super famous in Birmingham. And then um, we went to Muji, obviously. Um, we had Starbucks for breakfast one day. And then I actually even drew where we went for to do this map. So that's the Penn Museum and us drawing the map, which is pretty cool. Um, and then some random stuff like the coffin works that I that we didn't go to, but there's a little vampire there, which I thought was fun. But um, yeah, I really like how it ended, it turned out in the end. I also think it's really cool because it's like a little memory that we can take away with us. So yeah, that was really fun. So check them out online. I'll pop all the links below to people I've mentioned. So I also got some um, arty art supplies. So I got these for my birthday. I finally, finally got some cool arrays, pencils, which everyone uses and raves about and says how awesome they are. And you don't feel like you're really an, an art person unless you've used these before. So I got a whole bunch of them. I haven't used them yet. I just sharpened the uh, Carmine Red just to test it out. And it is really lovely. I can't wait to use these. I'm not a big fan of colored pencils for coloring in, but I love sketching with them. And the fact that they can erase makes me really happy. That was a really awesome present. And something I've been wanting to try for so long, I got Daniel Smith watercolors. I got the essential set. So there's just six watercolors in here, watercolor colors. So you get um, a cool and a warm of each of the primary colors. And then I'm pretty sure you can make like pretty much any color you want with these. I didn't realize how tiny they were. Look how tiny they are, they're so cute. Um, I don't know how much watercolor I'm, like I don't know how long these last for because I've never used them before. But I guess I can just give it a go and try. They're really expensive, they were like 30 pounds for six. And I feel a bit bad. Because I put them, put them on my birthday wish list and I didn't realize how tiny they were. And the person who brought them for me said they were so small when they arrived. And I thought um, maybe they were a little bit annoyed because they spent so much money on something so little. But I really appreciate it because I've wanted to try these for so long. Um, I know they're really good watercolors. The best watercolors I have right now are Windsor and Newton. So yeah, Daniel Smith watercolors. And the last little um, category is miscellaneous. So I got this for my birthday, 365 days of art. Wanted to try a book like this for a long time. I thought it'd be really fun to try. It's got heaps of different like exercises you can do, doodles and I don't know, just fun stuff. I thought it'd be really fun to do as like a warm up exercise each day. Kind of get your creativity going and get your hand moving and just have a little bit of fun. So I'm really excited to try this. I think I'm gonna start it. I want to start it at the beginning of a month, so I might start it next month at the start of July. Or maybe I'll start it tomorrow, who knows. <laughs> and then I also got this Carver stamp set from Cass Arts and an extra couple of lino blocks. Um, this set is really awesome. I got it from Cass Arts, but I think you can also get it online. I've seen it on Amazon, I think. So it comes with... A whole bunch of different blocks. I think there's four, five that you can make your stamps out of. It comes with a little ink pad so you can ink, ink your stamps. And then it also comes with two blades. So a thicker blade and a thinner blade, which I guess go into here. So I'm really looking forward to using that because I wanted to try stamp making for a long time. I used to do wood carving and lino carving when I was a kid in school and I loved it so much. Apart from when I would cut my fingers or my hands. So I try not to do that as an adult, but I can't promise anything. So I also got this washi tape from Muji. There's three sets, like all in a white and blue color theme. And I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch of people do those washi drawings, you know, where they like make the washi tape the clothes. So that'd be really fun to do. And lastly, it's not really an art supply, but it is to do with art. It's this really cool watermelon patch. 
And this was designed by Aaron Draplin and he put it on, he has a whole bunch of patches and stickers and pins. And I love this so much because I love watermelon and I love the colors. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I don't really have any clothes I can put it on. Um, but maybe I'll buy, buy, maybe I'll buy something to put it on or I put it on a bag or something. Oh, and I also forgot, I got this um, pencil case from Muji as well. So it's really cool. There's like these little pockets. And a zip pocket here. And then inside, it's just a big open area. So it's like quite plain and I wouldn't call it dull, but it is quite plain and earthy, I guess. But I really need a pencil case because as you can see, I have a whole bunch of art supplies now and I have nowhere to put them. So yeah, that is, uh, that's all of the art supplies. Yeah, that was my gigantic art haul and now I just have to find time to use them all. So I was thinking I could do like a really short video using every single material I have um, that I brought this week. So I thought I could do one a day this week, like until the weekend on my new camera. So I don't know if that's going to be super hard or not, but I think I will try, try to do that because I really want to try to get better at editing videos faster and posting more often. Um, and I have had a couple of weeks where I haven't posted anything. So I think I'm going to try and draw one video, do one video a day using the different materials until I finish using all the materials. So that will be a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, so I hope you join me along the way. And that is the end of the video. I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. So make sure you check back tomorrow for the first in the little mini series of my birthday art haul week. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.